Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Saints. Welcome back to another episode of Fashion Friday. Sorry about last week not having one, but it just got crazy, and I honestly forgot about it because of Thanksgiving. You know, I had family over and everything, so sorry about that. Shouldn't happen from now on, but... Anyway, you guys don't know what Fashion Friday is, if you're this is like your first video watching me then. It's basically a series I do every Friday, or try to do it every Friday, where I show you guys some awesome outfits for your characters in GTA Online. And if you want to submit an outfit for next week's episode, let me know in the comment section. But anyway, getting right into the first outfit, we have the Joker V2, or version 2, because we already done the Joker back in the day, but now, since you can change the hair and you can have like different contacts and makeups and stuff, uh, this Joker, I think, definitely looks a lot better. And to start off, you're going to put the purple suit on, obviously. Go ahead and throw on the olive suit vest on underneath that. And then throw on a sandy bow tie for the top. For bottom, go with the purple regular suit pants and then all black Oxford. Moving on to the head, though. Now, for the color of the hair, you can, like, experiment with it. Um, as you see, I obviously have a green with yellow highlights. You can make it different shades of green if you want to, uh, you know, make it a different type of Joker. I don't know. That's up to you, but I like the green with the yellow highlights. Looks really cool. And then, obviously, you're going to want to put the goth makeup on for the eyes. And then you're going to want to put red smudged makeup. I think it's like the 25th red color uh, for the makeup. You're going to want to put that on for the mouth. And it looks really cool. The face might not be as white as, obviously, they, the Joker is in the movies, but still, this is a great outfit. I know a lot of you guys are really excited about making this outfit, so hopefully you guys go and have some fun with it. Obviously, you know, you can go make your cars all purple and green to match, but this is definitely one of the best outfits, I think, so far, that uses the new stuff from Next Gen. Anyway, moving on, though, we have Slade Wilson from the show Arrow, and if you guys don't know that show, it shows amazing, by the way. Let me know in the comment section, actually, how many of you guys watch Arrow and The Flash. I, this past week, these episodes were amazing. But anyway, getting back on topic, this is actually Slade Wilson from, like, the first couple seasons when they were on the island, and it's pretty simple, actually. You're going to want to go ahead and throw on the masked urban outfit, but then you're going to want to take the mask off, go ahead and put standard armor on a black scarf, gray tactical gloves, change the haircut to the faux hawk black, put on a circle beard, and then finally put on the guy liner makeup, but just turn the opacity down like up. You know, maybe it's where it's like one third of the way. And it actually looks really, really similar to the outfit that he had on the show when he was on the island. Now, obviously, it's not going to be 100%. So, as always with these, you know, it's just the outfit. I'm not trying to make the exact character. So, if like the face and everything doesn't look 100%, it's a game. And obviously, we can't do too much about that. But still, nonetheless, I think this is a great outfit. Especially if you do love those shows and are a fan of them. And especially him. I mean, like Destro Key. That's a great character, so so this is a good outfit if you want to be like him, I guess. Moving on, though, we have another badass outfit, and this one is Jason Statham from The Expendables. And again, this one's a pretty simple one as well. You're going to want to go ahead and put on the black combat sweater for the shirt. Then for the pants, put on the black combat pants. For accessories, put the black scarf on, black tactical gloves, standard armor, and then the black cop frames. And then for the hat and the head, go ahead and put on the black flat cap with shaven hair and the light stubble beard. And although this hat isn't, like I said, 100% like the one in the movie, it definitely looks similar. And if you want to be, you know, again, another badass character in online, this would be a great outfit for you. As you see, it looks pretty similar. And plus, it's pretty easy to make, honestly. So there you guys have that one. Moving on, though, into the next two outfits these aren't anything in particular they're just really cool outfits i think so the first one we have is the bounty hunter and this one's again another pretty simple one you're gonna want to go ahead and throw on the silver stripe leather jacket with the black t-shirt on underneath it for pants go ahead and put forest combat pants on then you're gonna want to go ahead and put super light armor and smoke cop frames and then for the head go ahead and put the faux hawk you can put any color that's a dark brownish and then beard, it's really up to you. I think either the scruffy beard or the one I have here, the circle beard, looks really good. And like I said, this one's called the Bounty Hunter, and it definitely looks pretty cool. And honestly, I kind of like these outfits that don't really, that aren't really based off of anything, like any show or any movie in particular. But they're just really cool outfits that, you know, you can have your character make or wear in the game. So, there you guys have that. And then finally, coming in as our last outfit, we have a male zombie. And this one is a pretty fun outfit, I think, to use. 
So starting off, the the, sh the clothes we're going to wear, they're pretty simple clothes. Go ahead and put on the charcoal t-shirt with a gray hoodie. And then for pants and shoes, go ahead and put on the faded dark blue regular fit jeans. And then the olive sport shoes. Now for the head, this is where everything comes to place here with the zombie. Obviously, we're going to use some of the new stuff being the zombie contacts, the blood tears eye makeup the smudged lipstick and i put the 23rd color on there i think it kind of looks similar to the blood tears color and then for hair and beard that's kind of up to you i just put on the shaggy curls and the scruffy beard and actually if you notice the the shaggy curls that i have they actually have some like red highlights in them i was trying to simulate like blood on the hair but i don't know it didn't come out too well but it's still nonetheless i mean look it's a fun outfit and if you want to, I guess, roleplay as a zombie in GTA Online, this is, you know, a great outfit for you. Maybe you might have to get lucky where you kill yourself a couple times and you get all the blood on your outfits and stuff, and you might look even more like a zombie or more scarier, I guess, but still, nonetheless, it's a great and fun outfit to just mess around with with some friends in online. So, there you guys have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Fashion Friday. Like I said, sorry about last week, and, and next week, if you do have any other outfits let me know in the comment section or if you want me to you know try to make any other characters let me know but anyway hope you guys enjoyed drop a like if you did and found this episode awesome subscribe for more awesome gta content and as always it's your boy Saints fan i'm out peace